Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at illustrative math for sixth grade. This is unit one, lesson nine, formula for the area of a triangle. The objective states I can write and explain the formula for the area of a triangle. We're looking at activity 9.2, finding the formula for the area of a triangle. For each triangle, label a side that can be used as the base and a segment showing its corresponding height. Record the measurement for the base and height in the table and find the area of the triangle. The side length of each square on the grid is one unit. In the last row, write an expression for the area of any triangle using B and H. So the first thing we're going to do is label a side that can be used as a base and a segment showing its corresponding height. With a base and a height, they have a perpendicular relationship. So I need to have a 90 degree angle where they intersect, where the base and the height are perpendicular from one another. So with A, I've already got something set up pretty easily. I can identify that side down there on the bottom as my base. And this dashed line as my height. They hooked us up with this one. Um, to find the area, I can uh, go ahead and replicate the pieces of this triangle. I'm going to go ahead and erase height right here so it doesn't get in my way. If I took this triangular piece and I duplicated it, I could rotate it and put it right here, and then I would have this lovely rectangle um, instead of a triangle piece, and I know how to find the area of a rectangle. I could also duplicate this larger piece of the triangle and put it right here, rotate it and put it right here. So what I've just done is I've taken that triangle and I've made two of them, but pieced them together to create a rectangle. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten units for its base. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units for its height. So the area of this rectangle that I just created is 70 units, but the original triangle only takes up half that size, so I'm going to divide that in half, and it's 35 square units. For B, again, I can replicate this, create an identical triangle, and then put it right here to make this rectangle. And I can label this as my base, and this is my height. Again, I could have chosen this as my base and this one as my height. It doesn't matter as long as I have that square angle, that perpendicular relationship between the two of them. So for my base, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 units. And the height is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units. So if this was the entire rectangle, then the area would have 66 squares inside of it, but it's only half of that area. And so the area is really 33 square units. I could do the same kind of thing with C and D, where I could create a triangle and rotate it and put it together, rotate and put together, so that I end up with a oops, rectangle instead. And same with D, and again, identifying a base and a height, but I could also put that skinny little piece right here and make another of uh, the same right-hand side of it, put it together, and I have this rectangle that is a 1, 2, 3, 4 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So again, it's not the entire rectangle, it's only half of the rectangle. So then it would be an area of 22 square units. So you'll notice that each time I took that base and I multiplied it by the height, but then it doesn't take up the entire space that that same rectangle would, so I divided it by two. So you, uh, for the area of a triangle, we can treat it as area is equal to base times height, so that would be like finding the rectangle, how many squares are in that rectangle. But we have to divide that by 2 because the triangle really only takes up half of the space and not the entire rectangle. Another way we can write that is to say that base times height, you can multiply those together and then find half of that value. And we can use either one of these formulas because they are equivalent. They're just written in a slightly different form. But we can use either one of these formulas to find the area of any triangle, especially when it's harder to tell or harder to see how you might piece it together by doubling the triangle.
and making a rectangle out of it. Again, our objective is I can write and explain the formula for finding the area of a triangle. And here's our formula right here. And an equivalent expression or ex equivalent equation. Uh, same formula, just written in a slightly different format. Thanks for watching.